5 a.m. Oh my god. I want to cry. I feel like throwing up. It's 5.45 right now. I took a shower. I went on my phone for a bit and now I think I'm gonna do something productive and actually get some work done. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I'm not a morning person. Also, I'm filming with my phone right now because my camera broke. I have two exams. This is four. I have two exams coming up and I haven't studied for them. Should I eat something? I feel really nauseous, but I feel like I should eat something. I have to leave for class in two hours. So I'm going to study for cell bio until then. I hate this so much. I did my makeup. I don't usually put on makeup when I go to school, but since I had extra time, I put on makeup today. I spent the past half an hour just staring off into space. I'm just not productive in the morning, but hopefully this gets better throughout the week because if it doesn't, I'm just gonna be really sad. I have some cereal. Yes, I eat cereal out of a cup. It's because I didn't wash my dishes. I only have one cereal bowl and I didn't wash my dishes, so I'm gonna eat it out of a cup. Please don't judge. The cereal is so stale. It's pretty old. I'm gonna take some Dayquil. How do I manage to still be late after waking up at 5 a.m.? I need to leave in a minute. do my neuroscience homework i should be able to get through this fairly quickly and then i'm gonna eat dinner I'm so excited for that this is the best my voice has been today <clears throat> i'm gonna stop talking a lot of people say that i sound like cardi b when i'm sick which i don't even know if that's a compliment or not but yeah um i'm gonna do my homework <laughs> people with happy social lives are less likely to develop a cold when exposed to a virus Likewise, people who tend to feel positive emotions will also produce more antibodies in response to flu vaccination. Yes, that is toothpaste. I took NyQuil and I completely knocked out last night. I had a really bad fever too, but I'm getting better. So hopefully by tomorrow I'll be fine. These are the famous Korean fire noodles, but instead of the original sauce, they have the black bean sauce. It's not even half as spicy as the original, which I like because I can't eat spicy things. I'm going to eat one and a half. I find that one is too little. 
but two is too much. So I'm just gonna put half of this in. This is conveniently broken in half. That's beautiful. Fuck. I just dropped the other half in the sink. <laughs> what the hell? Why, why am I like this? I only put one of the sauce packages in, but I think it looks good enough. This does not look appetizing, I don't know why. p.m. I'm planning on going to sleep right now. I've been sleeping pretty early these days. I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier than usual. Instead of five, I'm gonna wake up at four or try to wake up at four. Um, I'm gonna take a shower, get ready, and study. I have my cell bio exam at noon tomorrow, but I have classes before that and I won't be able to study that much. So I have to wake up a little bit earlier to study and just finish up some work. So, yep. Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know how people can wake up before the sun even rises, like... the moon. Oh wait, that's not the moon. My camera is arriving today, so that's something to look forward to. If I fail my exam, at least my camera is coming. It's so hard for me to not procrastinate. You can give me five years to finish one project and I'll only start like two days before it's due. I want to become a TikTok star. My socks are wet. This is the worst feeling ever. guys so i just got my camera i know for a fact i'm gonna break this so quickly the screen is supposed to be put like that but if you want to flip it over you have to detach this thing and then do this why would anyone want to put this kind of camera in my hands i am pretty reckless with these kinds of things hopefully i don't break it compared to my old camera Definitely a little bit bulkier, especially the lens. This, I just don't, I don't agree with this. This is just asking for it to be broken. <gasps> oh, 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 
Whoa, well, that was a picture. I also got this huge package from the one and only Mattel. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Okay, three, two, one, ta-da! <laughs> okay, but I'm actually really surprised that they got the noses right. The noses are actually super accurate. The noses are super accurate. The features are pretty accurate. I just don't know. It's probably the hair that's... Yeah, it's the hair. Yeah. There's a rumor going around that... I'm not sleeping tonight. My physics exam is at 7.45 a.m. tomorrow. I'm debating on whether I should drink black tea or if I should drink actual coffee. The black tea kept me up last night. I wasn't able to fall asleep, so I guess it's working. currently 11 20 p.m i got super hungry while studying so i'm gonna get some uber eats i usually order from mcdonald's or panda express but neither of them seem to be open i've never tried any of these so i'm just going through a dilemma right now also i sneezed and my right ear popped in a weird way so i can't really hear myself talking right now so that's great I'm not a fan of burgers. I guess this is just a sign for me to order from Papa John's. I already ate cheese sticks. Do I want another pizza? Pizza! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I had zero hours of sleep. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm finally done, yay! It might not look that clean to you guys, but to me, this is the best it's ever gonna get. I never got to do a proper apartment tour, so I think I'm just gonna do one really quickly. So this is the overview. That's my kitchen area, my study desk area. This is where I sleep. And then here I have a closet a drawer to put in clothes and then i have my makeup vanity this mirror is from tenergy i got it like two three years ago and i absolutely love it so i have all my makeup stuff here here i keep all of my skincare stuff it's really hard to keep this place organized as well because i have very limited storage space underneath here i keep 
all the extra skincare, shampoo, conditioner, bath bombs, hair dyes, stuff like that. This is my bathroom. It has a toilet, a bathtub. Yeah, let me show you what's in my fridge. So in my freezer, I have some Polaroid film. Here is a rotten banana, frozen blueberries, cheesecake, rice. And then in my fridge, I have some old rice, some lettuce, face masks. I have some eggs, yogurt, pizza, salad dressing. I only have like one drop of soy milk in here. Yeah, that's basically it. I just feel like this whole waking up at 5 a.m. thing does not work for me because I need to get stuff done. I can't afford to sleep at 11. And obviously me waking up at 5 is supposed to make up for the fact that I'm sleeping early, but it doesn't because I wake up and I don't really do anything. I wake up, I go on my phone for a while, I get up, take a shower, I try to be productive, but I don't end up actually being productive because I am not a morning person. I really want to go back to sleep. It feels like it's 2 a.m. and I haven't slept yet. Today has to be the most difficult day so far for waking up at 5 a.m. I'm just tempted to go back to sleep. I have a little bit of work to do, so I'm just gonna do that in hopes of maybe waking up. I have this online homework assignment to finish up, so I guess I'm gonna do that. with your uh i'm gonna make some fried rice if you watched my videos last year you would know that i used to eat this almost every day it's super easy to make so first you get some spam i cut about two slices of spam should i do three okay i'm gonna do three I have a bit of rice over there, so take these pieces and chop them into cubes. Easy peasy. Let's get it and then chop it. I'm going to get about one and a half tablespoons of butter. Letting that melt. And then you're gonna take some cold rice and put it in here. Oh shit. And then from here, I'm gonna crack two eggs in. And then from here, if you want, you could top it off with ketchup.
currently 8 p.m. and I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. I think I'm going to sleep early tonight so that I can wake up early tomorrow again. Um, yeah, I didn't really do much today. It's 4.59 a.m. It's supposed to be 6 a.m. But last night was daylight savings, so we got pushed back an hour. So everyone got an extra hour of sleep, which I'm super happy about. Guess what? I still need to write my essay. This is horrible. See, this is what I mean by I only work well under pressure. I need to write this today. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> As you guys know, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. for the past week. And I thought I would just sit down and talk to you guys about what I think about waking up at 5 a.m., whether I liked it, whether I didn't like it, if I'm going to continue doing it. First of all, I do not think I'm going to continue waking up at 5 a.m. It's just too much because of my schedule. I would be 10 times more productive if I slept late and woke up late. I think there are people who function better in the morning and there are also people who function better at night. Not everyone has to be a morning person in my opinion and not everyone can be a morning person. As a result of me trying to force myself to become a morning person for a week, I realized that it just doesn't work that way. Um, for the days that I didn't have exams or I wasn't pressured to actually be productive in the morning, for example, during the weekends, yesterday and today, I just found myself wasting time. I didn't really do anything, I just stared off into space. I just went on my phone for hours and hours and hours. For me, I just feel like I could have been sleeping during those hours and I could have been happier. Personally, I've adapted this living pattern during my college years where I will be productive at night. <laughs> Bottom line is, as long as you have your own routine set out and you know when you're most productive, just go with that. There were a lot of good things about waking up at 5 a.m. The first one is my days seemed a lot longer. Usually during the weekends I wake up at like 2 p.m. I'll always feel like I don't have enough time in the day to do anything. But waking up at 5 a.m., my days are so much longer, but I also get a lot more tired throughout the day, so there's a trade-off there. Also, waking up at the same time every day throughout the week, I think it helped me adjust my circadian rhythm. All of my classes don't start at the same time every day, so I'm used to waking up at 7 a.m. one day and 10 a.m. another day or like 2 p.m. during the weekends. So I'm constantly just shifting my sleeping pattern every day throughout the week and I don't think that's good for me. I'm constantly tired. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. I will see you in my next video. It's a beautiful night I see the skyline where dreams come alive Don't need you by my side Gonna hit the city with my ride or die